Welcome to another ASC CPC training video. This video is part 4 in the Run Operations tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll cover system verification, starting a cure cycle, and the trend view. From the Run Operations screen with Step 6, click System Check. The System Check button takes us to the Status screen. The Status screen provides a snapshot of the equipment. This screen provides easy equipment status at a glance. The screen is divided into several parts. On the right is the system alarms. These are the equipment alarms. The other sections are divided into equipment subsystems. Since everything is in order and no alarms are present, return back to the Run Operations screen by selecting the Back button in the lower right corner of the screen. Now you can start the run. It is important to note that if the integrity checks were not passed or overridden, or the door is open, the Start button will not be available here. You can see that the check status is indicating Pass and the Start button is available. To begin the cure cycle, select the Start Cure button. After the run has started, exit to the main screen by clicking the Back button and then click on the Trend Screen button. This will take you to the Trend View screen. The Trend screen displays process values in trend form. The Trend display plots each value in a different color, line type, and line width. The Trend is divided into three distinct areas. On the top left is Live Process Variables. On the bottom left is Run Status Information. On the right is the Trend. The Trend can be easily customized to meet your needs. Using the handles on the right and the bottom, you can zoom in and out on the process to view in greater detail. The Trend screen also includes a drop-down selection that allows the operator to select a specific part. When a part is selected, the system will display only the sensors on that part. You can also configure a selected set of sensors to view and then store that configuration set or group to the system. This allows immediate recall of the specific set of sensors for viewing. You can start a custom group by double-clicking the trend. From this window, you have several options. On the left, Trend Enable, Interval, and Clearing. The second section contains a list of inputs that can be added to the list. The third section is the Selected Sensors group. This group of sensors is what is being actively displayed. You also have the option to customize or auto-color the sensors from here. The final section on the right is how to save groups. For demonstration purposes, let's add a couple sensors and save. Select the sensors you want to add, and then add them by clicking the Add Sensor button. Once they've been added, you can manually color them or auto-color them. For this demonstration, we'll use Auto-Color. Once this is complete, you can name the group and save it. Now that you have saved the group, you will see the group's option available in the upper left-hand corner of the Trend View screen. In our next video in the Run Operations tutorial series, we'll cover manual operations and how to edit a running recipe. Thank you for watching.